dumb bird is here to entertain you. Once more, Kelly Kumalo is off the hook. Of course, her name has been cleared once more and she has been freed from all sort of suspicions and trackings by the court of law after the second docket has actually been demerited by the court of law. I really feel so sad and excited at the same time. One, I love Kelly Kumalo so very much and her music, so I'm very much excited that she has been freed up. And again, secondly, I really want to know who is behind Senzo Meiwa's early passing on to glory. Senzo Meiwa was a very loved celebrity in South Africa, and still yet we all want to know what is going on. Why are all the cases being put under the bus and under the bucket? Kelly Kumalo is a very much loved and at the same time hated South African entertainer because Zanzi wants the truth from her. I'm about to give you some very shocking news as the NPS state the second docket that says Kelly Kumalo is responsible for Senzo Meiyu was passing on to glory as a demerit. Do all to watch the entire video to get the entire news. Before I give you all the information, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. A document which apparently ensnared Kelly Kumalo and others in the Senzo Meiwa case was given to the court of law. The state said the document was an inside update and assessment which was addressed to the head of public indictment. It said the document had no merit completely and of course Kelly Kumalo whose name was the principal name as far as this document is concerned has been set free once more and Zanzi is left in total confusion. They want to know why Kelly Kumalo's name always has a way of being set free as far as Senzo Meiwa's case and situation is concerned. The document is gotten from a second agenda into the Meiwa case. The NPA document depended on a second agenda in the person to glory of Meiwa. The presence of two unique dockets relating to a similar occurrence were in the public space before the preliminary actually started off. Several people kept asking themselves tons upon tons of questions. It was recently put on record that there were two case dockets with various exploring groups making various discoveries, remembering for who the suspects were and Kelly Kumalo's name kept popping on all the dockets and definitely they wanted to know why Kelly Kumalo's name kept appearing. They wanted the Kumalos to be questioned because they were in the same house the same day that Senzo Meiwa left this world in the most unthinkable way. I keep asking myself the question, I mean, I really know and I believe that Senzo Meiwa's friends were as well involved as far as when Senzo Meiwa passed on to glory. They were in the same house, but why does the court of law not look in that direction? They keep looking at just the Kumalos. I don't want to be so judgmental as far as this case is concerned. In the primary case as of now under the steady gaze of the court, there are five men who have been in detention for a long time now. The men have been blamed of assuming a part in the passing on of Meiwa, who definitely left this world in Kumalo's home in Voslo, Rosebox, on the 26th of October 2014. In the subsequent agenda, Kelly Kumalo, her mom happiness, her sister Zandi, Meiwa's two companions, Tumelo, Madlala, and Tokozi Sintswala, Zandi's Bolongwe Tswala, and Maggie Piri were recognized as suspects as well. They want them to come out and speak out. They have to tell us the entire truth as to what Zandi keeps claiming and wanting from them. I really feel so sad about these particular allegations and blamings on the Kumalos, but still yet, there is no smoke with the, without fire as they say. You will tell me what you really think about all these mixtures in the Senzo Meiwa's case and I'm going to be replying to all of your comments.